What's going on guys, it's Isaac. Today I am up to no good. I'm in here cleaning out my shop, trying to make some, you know, a little organizing, a little bit of room. Uh, I had a big yellow toolbox over there. It's uh, now over at Cars and Cameras right now. Um, so, you know, the shop's out of hand, cleaning it up, and, well, I'm bidding on some cars. So, what I've got is, um, Ford Expedition, Explore, Ford Mustang, possible lean found, I'm not going to bid on the Mustang. O five O four Honda Civic has been on fire. Not interested. O eight Honda Civic, no lean. High bid is a hundred and seventy five so far. I I don't think I need that. O four Honda Accord, possible lean found. No, nope. let's keep going. Jeep Cherokee. Not interested. Alright. Here we go. Mazda Miata. It's been wrecked, but it might possibly have a good engine. I know that whenever I, I clicked on it and looked, it's got... Well, the engine's in there but it's got a good uh, trunk lid and the plastic piece on back is good. Rear bumper, the wheels. You know, motor and transmission might be good. It's got a, probably has a good rear end. It's been hit so hard the shifter has pushed down uh, through the center console. So, is it a good one to buy? I don't know. I don't know the mileage, but if I bid on it right now, it's only $175. So, I'm the high bidder at $175. Moving on. Let's see what else I can bid on. You know what? A Mercedes Benz with a high bid of $210 you know why not now I'm now the high bidder at 220 bid oh GMC Yukon 04 high bid is at 210 you know the this thing looks pretty rough but that vehicle right there has a LS engine in it and it apparently was driving to put that dent in it. It looks like they hit a, a tree or something. She's been, uh, she been driven hard. But since it's been wrecked, that means it was running. So, LS engine, 5.3. Let's make a bid on it. I'm the high bidder at $210. That's good. Okay. Let's check out all my bids. See if I've been outbid yet. Oh, man. Did someone outbid me? Oh. There's a, some sort of yellow thing. Well, I mean, let me try it again. Confirm bid. Okay, there we go. I don't know why the bins didn't uh, accept my bid, but now it has. I'm still the high bidder on the Miata. It's got the daisy wheels on it. And that front rim still looks good. 
that front rim still looks good so it looks like all the damage is just uh, from the body and that engine has definitely been shoved down in there so here's my thought on the Miata wouldn't it be cool to take that Miata and turn it into like a life size like large go-kart road legal so says no lean on the VIN or on the description so that means it's got a title which is cool going through checking on stuff so I believe I'm bidding on like three cars yeah the Suburban has very nice interior on it and the body seems to be straight and it appears to be two-wheel drive. I like the two-wheel drive. It's just a shame it doesn't have barn doors. Um, it does say lean status unknown, which is fine because I have another exact Suburban with a title in my name. So all I got to do is take that interior out and put it in my Suburban, and we're good. Okay guys, now I'm going to get to cleaning the shop. Don't give me too many ideas. Yeah. Oh man, did you see that Scion FRS? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. With the uh, new dealer, or the new uh, plate on it, the temporary tag? No, I didn't notice that. Yeah, so I got somebody purchased it and then... Loaded up. Yeah. Well, they didn't blow it up. They hit something pretty hard. How much is it at? Uh, 470, but it says possible lead. Okay. So the Mini Cooper has a possible lead. Yeah, there's a lot of possible leans. And the Nissan, the yellow Nissan Xfair is up to 1250. Yeah. I think it looks nice. It's not bad. Yeah. I was going to bid on the Ford Mustang, like the 2000 something model, but it said possible lean. So I got my Tropic Thunder going. I got the bid going. I've got cleanup going. And I'm moving stuff around, and all of a sudden, I just see something I didn't want to see. to uh, close that up. Look at the size of that guy. Hmm. Let's see if I can touch it. Hey. Oh, goodness. There he goes. <laughs> so I plugged the hole and then I unplug the hole because that's a good snake. He's a good one to have around. I just, I really didn't want to uh, come across him in the shop and just scare the bejesus out of me, but you know what? That's a good snake. I'm leaving him alone. So right now, on the 98 Chevy Suburban, we have 43 minutes left and I'm still the high bidder of 200 bucks. So cleanup is uh, going well. Uh, I found the snake because I was going to try to find a place to put my bumper over on the other side of the shop, the bumper to the Biscayne. So yeah, I'm going to go grab it now that the snake is now in the wall somewhere in the foundation. And uh, I'll be back to this in uh, another 30 minutes or so.
See you guys in a second. I just wish I could see who was at the other end of that computer. Tell him to leave me alone. He can have the blazer. I'm getting the Suburban. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. Hi, Keep an eye on this uh, Suburban. It's got two minutes left. Let's see where it goes. I was outbid. So it gives you it gives you two minutes to make up your mind. We're at three ninety. For me, three ninety. I think I'm going to go up to 500 on the Suburban. Oh, okay. They upbid me again. Keep going. The interior is really nice on this thing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Two more minutes. This is just going to keep going. Some jerk on the other end wants the Suburban too. Keep this going. This guy. Oh, going over what I wanted to pay. 24 seconds. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Zero. Closing. I am the high bidder. I won. Got a Suburban for $525. I didn't want to go that high. I told told myself the, the most I would go $500 on that. Well, Taylor and John didn't get back up with me. Where it's at. Here, I'll go look. I'm, I'm already ahead of you. Okay. Got 14 minutes left on the uh, Miata, and I'm still the high bidder. Oh, Mercedes is at 280, and it's got 18 minutes left. Uh, somebody outbid you on the Miata, by the way. Took can, taken care of. Okay. Alright. Somebody bid again on the Civic. The 99. Did, are you sure you didn't accidentally bid on the 99 bidding on the Miata? No, no, no. I watched the I watched the Miata. I'm at 225 on the Miata. Oh. Nope. Somebody bid on the 97 again? Wow. Oh, man. I was outbid by on the Miata. Somebody wants that. I'm the high bidder now. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not really sure why, though, because unless they just want the engine out of it, but. I just had to bid on it again. Somebody. What was your plan with it? Huh? What was your plan with it? Uh, parts. Um, but of course, it's got. It, it doesn't have a lien. It's a $50 document fee, which means it's got a title. Right. You know what me and John can do with a Mazda Miata? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know the... You saw the firewall, right? Oh, yeah. It's a... She crammed. Man, someone wants this thing. 
Could you, um, when you're ready for dinner, could you swing by the warehouse and pick me up? Please. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Man, someone really wants this Miata. Really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, shoot. Yeah. I can't. I, uh, I'm just wondering where I need to. I think 400 is where I draw the line on that. And, you know, I could be totally screwed at 400. Really? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's been in a bad wreck. Uh, the engine could be bad. Yeah. Uh, transmission could be busted. <clears throat> the rear end might be bad from the impact. I don't know. Um. So are we not... Are we not feeling the 99 Civic? No. Okay. Where are we at? Is it about to sell? Uh, the Miata's only at 4.15. Yeah. 20 seconds to go. Yeah. I can't believe somebody's bidding up that Lexus. You just bit on the Miata. Like a dummy. I could hear you click. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like he's bidding on the Miata. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm done. Uh, Four twenty-five is just stupid for yeah. for that. Yeah. So I mean, you know, but if the engine were good, which I'm just wondering. Yeah, someone did bid on it. So someone outbid me by ten dollars. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. And you said, I mean, do you want me to go for an even three hundred? Nah. I have a a bad feeling about it. Hope. Oh, what in the heck? Why is it all of a sudden me being the high bidder on it? I didn't bid on it, did I? Dude. Uh. uh Wait a minute. It's it's to 280. So someone yeah, backed something, out. Something happened. Yeah. Maybe their credit card got declined. Oh my god. Also, the Miata just sold for 425. Was that you? Oh god. Did you just win the Miata? I don't know. Uh, I'm too busy looking at this Mercedes. Someone outbid it. Oh my God. Did they outbid it? Because it says closed. It says I won. Alright, so I guess we got a Mercedes. We got a Mercedes. Okay. You know, there's worse things to have. <laughs> uh, um, you know, we could have accidentally bought the 03 Mini with the CBT that that would have been worse yeah yeah I mean, that's basically a brick yeah now. yeah okay. okay so I bought a two-wheel drive Suburban and a Mercedes Benz I did not get the Miata someone just wanted it way worse than me so I'm done and uh I'll just keep cleaning the shop I got a Got a date tonight, so uh, gonna go on my date and uh, yep. I guess I'll see y'all in a minute while I'm picking up cars.
case. Yeah. Get some Barbados in there. This is one of three, apparently. Originally, he thought he won one, and then there was two, and we got here this morning, and hey, three cars. That's a pretty sweet tool. Look at that. That's awesome, man. Appreciate it. A flashlight! There's a, there's a flashlight! Does it have batteries in it? Snap on! It's a snap! <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's your money bag, dude. What was it? $280? I don't know, man. That's 50 bucks right there, isn't it? <laughs> At least. <laughs> snap on! Snap on! <laughs> Let's see if there's an engine in it. Let's see if there's an engine in it. That's so funny, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, wait. They already have a... Pop it. Yes, sir. Hundred thousand miles shown, man. It that ain't be, too bad. Usually these break, though, right? What? The, od the od odometers on these. Oh gosh, I forgot. That's a common problem. Except it's showing nine hundred and seventy-six, and if I uh, press this and it resets. Oh, so you think the odometer is working? It might be working. Because most people, when it quits working, they still hit the trip odometer and it's all zeros. Right. So the fact that it wasn't all zeros. You're a smart guy. I try. Yeah. So let's, uh, maybe we can get some help pushing this back. Sounds good, man. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I like these cars. Yeah. We got it a little bit. If I put the camera down, I can help more. Yeah. It's in the back. Shoes? Oh my god, shoes. There's no shoes in it. But it does have... Is this diesel purge? Diesel purge! What is that? If it's you got additive. A, if you got a blowed up diesel, it's like... Yeah. Alright, well somebody looks like they were... Took care of their car. how you do that. The Mercedes made it. Just at the same time as the second purchase is being delivered. Ninety eight Chevrolet Suburban.